In this era of pandemics, it's absolutely imperative for India to develop a strong base in clinical research in this country. But this is easier said than done. The modern day cutting edge medical research involves the confluence of three disciplines, uh, the basic sciences, engineering and technology, and clinical sciences. Medical schools in the US and elsewhere have been very successful in building together these uh, three disciplines to achieve tremendous breakthroughs. The prime example of uh, such a breakthrough involving biology, nanoengineering, and uh, clinical science is the development of the mRNA vaccine for COVID-19. This vaccine was developed based on research conducted at the University of Pennsylvania Medical School, and this has had a huge impact on the lives of billions of people around the world. This demonstrates that a medical school can have a global impact. Unfortunately, we have been unable to establish such university-based medical schools in India because these disciplines work in silos in India and often they are practiced in different institutions here. So this hampers performance of high-end medical research in the country. This is where the Indian Institute of Science uh, comes in. IAC was established 112 years ago and is now the preeminent research institution for science and engineering in the country. We had to come up with a hospital which would enable such interdisciplinary research. When we did a lot of analysis, it became very clear to us that the hospital that we want to have in IISC would have to be different from the others. Namely, in addition to providing all facilities for patient care and all facilities for education, it had to provide advanced diagnostics and treatment facilities for research. Talking to all important stakeholders, experts, nationally and internationally, all this churning brought a conclusion that we have to have a 800 bedded multi-speciality hospital which would perhaps cost us about 900 crores. This was enormous, staggering. So much so that a project of this magnitude was never done in IISC in the last several decades. It turned out to be a stroke of fortune that I was introduced to Mr. N.S. Patsasati, co-founder of Mindtree. Mr. Patsasati and his wife Radha came to my office on December 30th and I explained the whole idea to them. They were excited about this because they were thinking of funding healthcare and education and this project combined both these aspects. Mr. Patsasati promised to take this forward along with his close friend and co-founder, Mr. Subrato Bachi and his wife, uh, Sushmita. This is when Partha and Radha, Subrato and Sushmita, the quartet, entered the scene. And that completely transformed the scene. Firstly, we could see a resonance in the idea. Then the chemistry and the bonding, a great friendship developed within the two teams within a week. It's like whole community coming together. Like, for instance, how Infosys was created, how Mindtree was created. We could see that energy into this project. And such institution building will have very long-lasting impact. And this is where we are today. And this is going to transform the way we will execute this project. Uh, this was by far the largest single donation that was made in the history of IAC since its founding. And I believe this might be the largest single donation in the history of India to an academic institution by a donor who is not running the institution to which he or she is donating the amount to. We did a lot of brainstorming to bring in this interdisciplinarity into our structure. It became very clear to us that we need to have the academic program which will steer the postgraduate students to do clinical research. So we came up with a dual degree MD-PhD program. When the students join into this program, they will be given a rotation in the first six months. So a couple of months they will spend in biology lab to look at molecular biology techniques. Couple of months they will spend in nanotechnology lab to understand the intricacies of how can one apply nanotechnology for healthcare. And maybe a couple of months in computer science lab to understand the data science techniques and see how AI and ML can be applied for healthcare. And at the end of this six months, they will be able to figure out what is the area they want to pursue for the research. And hence, the next five years or so, they will spend not only in the clinics of the hospital to provide patient care, but also in the research lab, almost on a daily basis. 
and thereby they will come up with innovative solutions for the pain points they see day in and day out in the hospital right so they will come up with a solution and also graduate with md and phd degree another unique program that we will have is a dual degree md mtech for instance a student can get md in radiology and mtech in artificial intelligence so that they will apply ai and ml technique to figure out the the intricacies of this analysis of medical image to facilitate hiring of top notch faculty members we plan to provide them with generous startup research grants and salary top ups by establishing endowed chair professorships for students we plan to establish funded internships that will enable them to spend some time in the top medical schools around the world in the last few decades um several research groups at iisc have had successful co clinical collaborations and taken on clinically challenging research projects in collaboration with uh, medical scientists at other institutions in bangalore as well as in other cities 21st century healthcare in the country and indeed globally uh requires an integration of uh, digital technologies and powerful technologies but put this in a patient centric care system for uh well-being as well as patient care um at iisc this uh, natural confluence of engineering science and technologies can happen and it will be really boosted by the presence of a medical college right here now we have just begun this project we have a long way to go miles to go in fact one of the important thing that we want to bring out through this endeavor is medtech products in the country which are designed innovated and produced here the only way to do that is a holistic vision by bringing in a medtech incubation ecosystem anchored within the medical school and this is what we plan to do going forward in a steady state we plan to have at least 50 startups in medtech space coming out of this medical school see coming from a very uh, simple background we have seen the sacrifices that the parents have done to bring us where we are today in a small way we need to respect them by offering something back to the society it's only a mark of respect to all the sacrifices that have been done not all may choose to do it not all may uh, may know how to do it but okay in my thinking i we felt that you don't have to have large sums of money to give us donation or of your savings to give us donation you can have small amount but you can still give it for a cause that is going to be for the larger good that is what i used to always think and this in particular is supposed to be in respect for both our parents who have done a lot for us for both of us as a family shubhrata i and uh, both the girls neha and neeti we had used to have many discussions as to how to give back to the society what are we going to do and um, one thing we were very clear that whatever we have to do we have to do it during our lifetime and um, uh, two things came up with all these discussions that we have to do something for uh, healthcare and something for education and if both can be together what like nothing it. like it i hope the support from the bakshi and patsa the families will enable such work at is the patsa ki sansukrito support will benefit the project indian institute of science and more importantly will inspire others to follow their footsteps and support creation of world class infrastructure and new capacities and capabilities in our academic institutions like in this of science I'm glad that suprado and parsarthi have come forward to support this program given this huge donation we are now confident that we can complete the hospital on time uh, we are planning to break ground in june of this year and we hope to complete the entire process of uh, commissioning the hospital within 2 years the hospital will become operational by the end of 2024 our long term goal is simple to create the best medical school in india and one of the best schools the world over by discovering and innovating novel and affordable healthcare solutions for the benefit of india and the world